What is the crack and welcome back to another video in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a room kind of like this in blender So let me show you guys it here real quick Okay, so as you can see you can kind of walk around and it's not a huge room But obviously if you guys want to make it bigger you use can But uh, I'll show you guys how to do it now you need to get a plugin So the version of blender that will have it from then on is I think it's 2.7.9 I believe is when it was added so how to get it is literally go into user preferences it would pop up on my other screen go in here type mesh and then as you can see here add mesh I think that's Archie mesh I think that's how you pronounce it just click apply here you click the little ticks and then click save user settings I'm just gonna open a new file to show you guys literally how easy it is just delete the main cube Um, go down here you'll see it's the Archie mesh here click add room at first you're just gonna have this and you're gonna be very confused on what you do for a few minutes I did too uh, and the older versions of this they actually used to come up here also I didn't know this was a thing until about two three days ago you guys might already know about this and you're probably like oh, this is useless to me if there's any type of little add-ons and stuff you guys know about that you think would be helpful let me know and I'll probably do a video on it because I don't really go into the add-on so I pretty much just have the default what's in blender so if there's any specific ones that are kind of free or anything like that let me know uh, but you press N and then this little tab comes up and as you can see you go down here and you can see walls and rooms and all. I wish you could actually have the walls below the number. But you'll see now in a minute why I'm saying that. But you can see here you can go thickness. Which will actually add a bit of thickness to the wall. You can add the height. You kind of just leave it at the default 2.4. And then just say you want another wall. You just click add another wall. And I'll just make a crappy little room real quick. And it's literally... As easy as anything if you want the wall to go the opposite way literally just add a negative number it's as easy as that add you can click floor it'll start making a floor and add a ceiling and it'll start making a ceiling it's kind of better to have the ceiling off until you have the room made so go in and add another thing add another one uh, add another one make this one see this is why I wish this was below so that way you didn't have to scroll up and scroll down every time you want to add it a new wall it gets quite annoying very fast so let's make it decent sized add another one that should hopefully <laughs> wasn't adding it there for a second sorry about that uh about there add one more should bring it all the way up and then if you're roughly at it you can click up here close and it'll do it for you and then go down here and then kind of roughly get it flush and then uh, if you press shift F you can go into like the fly mode and then G and you can kind of walk around in the room and you, as you can see down here on the ground you have a skirting board so you can go you can make it as high as you want as thick as I want as you want I kind of like having it a, a, like a decent bit of thickness but kind of about there might do one more thickness and um, then add the ceiling to it and then you pretty much have a little room which is a which is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. If I really knew about this a while back, I would have loved it. There's so much more stuff though that this adds. You can go in here and add a col column, a door, a window, stairs, chairs, lamps, uh, curtains. So much more stuff just in this little thing. Like you, you can do this as well, which is really helpful. Uh, just say you wanted a door, uh, roughly around here. If you clicked here, and go. Um. Uh, where is it? Door, and then you'd have to click. You have to click it at the bottom of the ground. In the older versions, you could actually once you made a door. Right now, you could click it and move it and kind of put it where you wanted. But for some reason, I don't know if it's just my version of Blender. I can't. So, also sorry if I'm doing these videos a little bit weird. It's my first time doing a Blender tutorial. So, yeah, sorry, it's a little weird. I kind of do Unity ones normally, but uh. You can click here and you can say which side you want the handle to be on. You can change the model of the door. I like having this one with a little bit of glass in it. And then the handle, I normally pick number three because it looks good. And then you can click, um, where is it gone? You have to click the room. Make sure you're on the room and click auto hole. And then when you click the door and rotate it, 
there's an actual gap there now. So you can you can actually go in and out of the, the room. It's really cool the way they've, they've made it. I'm trying to fly my way back up into the room and uh, re-enable gravity. But that's that's pretty much it. Like, you, you just rotate the door back to whatever position. Like, you can make a little animation of the door opening and closing. It's It's so... I accidentally have, I think, deleted the door by doing that. Oh, I deleted the auto, um, the auto hole. But, um, it's amazing. And it's, it works the exact same way if you want to texture it. Literally click the wall and then UV wrap it, add the texture. I don't know if you can click the seal or the roof or the floor. I don't know how to do that at this particular moment. If you guys have used it before and you uh, do know about it, please let me know. You can also go into um, a grease pen and draw draw it and then go room from drawn and whatever you've drawn as a little grease pen picture will be generated as a room without a ceiling or a uh, without a ceiling or a floor so you'll just get the basic you'll just get like that wireframe they're not wireframe it's kind of just like the, the base kind of layer of it and then you just literally click them. You can also click inverse, which just kind of puts the walls backwards. Which doesn't really make sense. You can go into advance as well if you want. And you can put the walls at a specific angle. And then you can make it curved. So if you wanted this very beginning bit to be at a little bit of an angle. Or to kind of bunch out or do any, do any weird shit. You literally, you can if you want. I don't mind leaving it exactly normal the way it was. But if people did want to do any of that crazy kind of bendy stuff and go around corners, it's cool if you just if you're templating a room and you don't know exactly how it's gonna turn out. Because as I was saying, you literally click a corner, add a uh, lamp, boom. Now you have a lamp in that in that corner. So if you did have a few tables and a few chairs, you could place a lamp, test a bit of lighting, see how it goes. And yeah, it's 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 free. It's I'm gonna be using it from now on to kind of block out my rooms i'm gonna get a piece piece of pen and paper and kind of draw out like a rough kind of blueprint and uh make it like as you as you saw i've been doing this for i don't know about four or five minutes probably a little bit longer and i already have like a, a room you could easily add a little extension of a hallway onto and just keep going character keeps i keep turning on gravity by mistake um but like you can just walk straight out here and then make it into a hallway which can go to another room to another room and so on and so forth so it's a, uh, it's very easy. Like it's it's well worth your time to kind of invest and learn all the little bits and pieces. Like this way I was showing you guys with the door, you can make a door. You can do the exact same thing with a window. Just literally click somewhere, go, uh, window, rotate it ninety degrees. I'm just gonna click it and type ninety. You can do ninety or negative, uh, you can do ninety or two hundred and seventy. You can't do negatives, um, and then auto hole and then the windows should be able to be moved and there's an actual gap there so like it's, it's really good how it works really worth your time to kind of have a little look in and mess around with so this is the end of the video if you guys do have any more like uh, add-ons there's one i might do a video on is ivy gen or something i believe i might have that installed but i'm not too sure on it and um, you literally click somewhere like here click a button and ivy and vines and all and like little kind of leaves will glow uh will grow out of that point which would be really good if you were making like a little banded room and you just kind of wanted a few vines going up and down the walls also i just realized my mouse is off so i don't know if that's a bother or if it's a good thing i really don't know but um yeah it's a good little uh, add-on again if you want to go and add it literally just go file uh user preferences type mesh and then add mesh, uh, Archie mesh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Again, you need Blender 2.7.9 or 2.79, I think that's when you made this like an official thing in Blender. If you don't have them versions, or if you don't have that high, or if you have a lower one, I believe you can go and get it on GitHub, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end the video now because I believe it's getting quite a little long but uh, thank you guys so much if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up let me know if there is any add-ons you guys would like me to mess around with and uh, yeah hope to see you guys in another video
actually, if you guys do enjoy the video, all that stuff, um, make sure you try following me on Facebook or Twitter or Discord. Links are all in the description below. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. Hope to see you guys in another video real fucking soon. Bye.